to bore out a fourth main. When the fourth mains try to find you a fourth main that's not too badly rusted or pitted. And if you look at the fourth main where on the flange, there's a machine surface down here. And that's what we're going to index. And we're going to index off of that and then bore out our, um, our Babbitt that we've poured in here. And I just set it up at slow speed and just start twisting knobs and get it to where I have the least amount of run out that I can get. Uh, it's some of the areas are rough. So sometimes you'll have to deal with a little extra flicker, but it'll be because maybe there's a pit or something. But find the, find the best one that you can. Tweak that rascal in to where you're happy and lock down your table and we'll remove that and put in our cutting head and uh, start boring. And it's poured at a taper, so it's poured at a taper this way. So just get it up here close to the start. caps, burn out the Babbitt, clean it all up. I take the flapper wheel and go in there and clean it all up. I retin that. Some of them I find aren't tinned. I retin it. You know, put a hose clamp around here with a little piece of brass to keep it from running out. Port, let it cool down, board, get it to size, drill that out. Kind of take your knife in there and kind of radius off the sharp edges and call it quits. And I think uh, if you go measure our uh, fourth vein, I think we're at one, one inch uh, 558, I believe. And so we'll bore to one 600. Yeah, 1558. No, we'll, yeah, we'll board a 1560. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll go measure it here as soon as I get it cleaned up. Okay, so see, we've got a little frosty in there, and mm -hmm. but we're a long ways from where we need. Oh. So, what'd you find? Uh, one five five nine. One five five nine. Okay, one five. I come up with one here. One four two eight. Yeah.
still a oh, not much, but a little bit. Yes. All right, so I'm going to take it out close this time, and then we'll double pass, and then we might make a triple pass. It's. I'm at uh, five less fifty. I'm at six five forty five. Five forty five and a half. Uh, in, 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 in. There's six. That That's next mark you're seeing is five seventy five. Five and a half. Less five, five forty five. I'm sorry. Yeah, and a half. All right. So you're at uh, one point five four five, right? Yeah. So you got sixteen. Sixteen to finish. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna get a sixteen right now. All right. So and there we were at, at ten. 10. Right. So there's 10, there's 15, there's 15, there's 16. Okay. Okay, we're pretty close to our final cut on our size to fit our main shaft and this is just how we bore a bore them out on a mill you can do it on a lathe center it the same way center it off the machine surface but I just find it easier to ha do it on a mill because we have a mill but I'm feeding it fairly quick at a slow feed rate and I've looked at my Babbitt finish and I'm cutting a nice smooth finish and once it makes this cut, uh, there's a little push on the tool, and I'll raise it up back out of there, and I'll make another pass or something. Uh, I want to drill a hole in where our oil hole. Just to keep from dropping that drill motor down all the way through there and marring the other side. That's another one of those, don't ask me how I know that. We've got a Dremel tool here with a router bit on it. I'm just going to clean up that hole. cut the oil hole in it and we'll take a knife and go in here and get rid of our burrs that we have on the inside and we have a main cap that's ready to go onto the engine. <laughs> 